Fight Style. Hello everyone, my name is Kate and today I'm gonna show you how I've created this killer frost look for Greek Face Awards 2018. Make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So let's jump right into it. First I'm going in with a clear brow gel and combing my hair slightly upwards. Then using a white gel liner I'm creating little hair-like strokes right above my natural brow shape to give my brows more definition. Now using a jumbo pencil and baby blue I'm creating a base for my loose pigment. And after I'm picking up a metallic blue pigment and packing it right over the base. Finally I'm painting my brow hair with a bit of a white liquid eyeshadow to give my eyebrows more volume. Now it's time to repeat everything for the second brow. In the end, I'm going in with a gel liner again to correct the strokes. At this point, I'm creating a base for my eyeshadows and also cleaning up my eyebrows using a matte lid laundry eye tint in the shade Bed to the Bone. You need to make sure to blend it out evenly so your eyeshadow don't become patchy later. Off camera I've put on my blue eye lenses and we are moving on to the eye makeup. I'm using aqua blue eyeshadow as my transition color and I'm blending it slightly above my crease and adding up till the color is bright enough. I'm picking up a bright blue loose pigment on a flat blending brush and putting it straight in my crease. Then with the same color I'm darkening my outer corner. Now with a big blending brush I'm blending out all harsh edges. Using a cotton swab with a makeup remover I'm removing eyeshadow from the inner corner of my eyelid in order to prevent it from looking dirty. Then using a white gel liner I'm creating a cut crease. I'm blending out the edge between eyeliner and eyeshadow to make a smooth transition. Then I'm defining my crease with a gel liner. To the inner corner I'm adding white glitter. And then I do the same for my brows. I'm throwing a bit of epic black eyeliner to my upper lash line and I'm terribly sorry for the focus. When I'm done, I'm cleaning my outer corners with a cotton pad. Moving on to my face, I'm applying an illuminating primer. With a wet beauty sponge, I'm applying my foundation. For my foundation, I mix the lightest foundation shade I own with a white foundation mixer in proportion 1 to 2.
using the concealer brush, I'm blending out the area around the eyes and above my brows. I'm putting some of the foundation on my ears. And sliding it onto my neck as well. Now I'm applying Silver SFX cream color to my cheekbones and nose. The final good blend. And then setting my face with HD translucent loose powder. After I'm done with the face, let's go back to the eyes. I'm applying the same colors which I used on the top to my lower lash line. And applying a baby blue jumbo pencil to my lower waterline. Off camera I threw on some mascara and lashes. Now we're gonna contour and we're gonna contour hard. I'm contouring using the same eyeshadow shade that I used for my transition color. When I said hard, I meant that this contour is exaggerated in order to give this look more sharp. It wouldn't be hard if I didn't bring it to my forehead and my temple, so I'm doing it. Going a bit more dark and a bit more dark. Now let's contour some nose. I'm going hard on the side so I can dramatically change the shape. And I'm blending it all out with a blending brush. Slide this amount of foundation to the bridge of my nose to lighten it up. I'm painting my lip with the silver SFX and then with a jumbo pencil in baby blue. To the high points of my face, I'm adding a white highlighter with the blue reflective particles. Off camera, I've painted my hair with a white spray paint and slightly covered my chest with a silver cream color. Now I'm putting more suffix to the roots of my hair and edges of my face. And adding more color to my shoulders and collarbones. Now when the painting part is over, I start attaching the spike slash icicles made of the foil to my cheekbones with the eyelash adhesive. It was an epic fall, so I reapply the glue and start dancing so it dries off faster. Without any incidents, I apply the rest of the spikes. Now applying adhesive to my lips. Then unfortunately off camera I attach tiny crystals to the central part of my upper lip. I also attach smaller spikes to my lower lip. I fill in the gaps with a metallic pigment and then take off two spikes from the lower lip because I didn't like it. Using my fingertips I apply glitter glue to my forehead and then glitter with a brush. 
now the part which I didn't include in my intro cause it messed me up afterwards. To finish the look I apply a double face tape to my chest. Taking off a protecting lace. And finally I start attaching a fake eyes made of blue caramel to my chest. I'm putting pieces next to each other and trying not to make any gaps. The reason why I didn't want to include it to intro is that candy eyes which I used didn't want to attach to any cosmetic glue I own and it was constantly melting so I needed to use a tape which caused me lots of pain while I was removing it off my chest. That's why I don't recommend anyone to do it, ever. But since I was an idiot who did it, I decided to leave it here in order to let you guys know that is never a good idea. In the end I apply frozen tear to my cheek. And there we have a finished look, thank you all for watching and see you in my next video! Bye.